There's my furry co-pilot. He's doing his own investigating. He's going, maybe there's a place for me to go pee here. Oh, Dad, thanks for stopping. Good boy. Uh, come on, dude. Bye, buddy. You're a good boy. That's right. This is where you get grain from. I guess. I don't know. I'm, yeah. That's my guess. Check out these trades. Oh. Hey, Mike. We start here, right? And we go like this. This is really cool because I get around in a circle. Now, if we look carefully from back here, you can see they loop all the way around and go back all that way. That's a long train. Hopefully, you got enough grain in there that fills them all. <laughs> We're like 15 minutes out of um, Saskatoon. Uh, I got a hold of my friend and I Google searched a laundromat. So that's our exciting day today. In bad times, I know I'll be okay. Cause I find my way. You know, it's funny. I was passing all these brand new uh, mall strip joints, strip joints, <laughs> strip mall joints. And uh, I'm just following what Google tells me and it takes me to probably the dirtiest one in this area. I mean, check out this guy's sign over here. It's just a uh, laundromat anyway, so. And we just need clean clothes, right? Right, bud? Yeah. So, uh, we got 25 minutes to kill here before we throw it into the dryer, and then we'll probably have close to an hour to kill. Okay, so uh, an hour and a half later, we have all our, uh, oh, hang on. Bam! Laundry nicely put away. Puppy's staying amused and has gone for his walk. And uh, I just uh, charted out where my buddy lives, so I'm gonna have to go pay him a visit. He's on the other side of Regina. The joy, say. Eh? Sorry I didn't take you in the laundromat. I don't think you would have enjoyed your times. But maybe next time. Okay, let's get on the road. I gotta show you one thing first. So, it's nice to get laundry done. So we're going to start trekking over to where I'm supposed to go and then see if I see it along the way. Okay, wish me luck. Let's get out of here. In bad times, I know I'll be okay. Because I find my way. Okay, a quick little pit stop here. I'm gonna grab him some food and uh, we're at the independent grocer here in Saskatoon. But he got a hold of me on his um, uh, messenger and uh, we're gonna pop by and uh, maybe spend the night. We'll see. Okay, we just uh, arrived at Jeremy's house. Jeremy's a friend of mine from Camper Jam Canada. Yeah, yeah that's where we uh, take our Volkswagens every year. Up uh, hang out for now. like uh, a long weekend. 
and it's just Volkswagen vans only, so it's amazing. So I met Jeremy, good God. A couple years ago. It's more than a couple, buddy, because we've been under COVID for two. He's another, oh, my hair looks like shit. <laughs> <laughs> oh, uh, <laughs> anyways, yeah, he's another one of those Volkswagen freaks that, uh, you know, that I have that. All my friends seem to own Volkswagens. I don't know that why that works that way. I think because we're, that's why. It is. We're just like attracted to one another or something, right? <laughs> that way. <laughs> anyways, we're going to go check out his shop and check out this on, because uh, I think you guys are going to be pretty impressed with these bills here. Where's your bus? The bus is still in storage. Oh. That's because Bugly's taking up all the attention. Bugly? Bugly. Bugly, I like Bugly it. Bugly gruesome. Yeah. <laughs> it's all fiberglass. That's right. So they were cracked and the paint was peeling off. So I'm like, why not put a sticker on it? We like to call those vinyl wraps. That's there. right, a 3M vinyl wrap. <laughs> yeah. So that's a wrap. Oh my God. You know the best thing about wraps though? You can take off the wrap and fix it. That's right. <laughs> I don't have to paint the whole thing. Life is good, best I've ever felt. Jeremy's electrician, can you tell? <laughs> Somewhere I can find myself. Oh, I feel like... It's a 1953. Like, I wouldn't be surprised if this is like the first Volkswagen in Canada. Oh my goodness. Anyways, we're going to uh, show you something cool. These are called semaphores. They came in a lot of old cars in the 50s. And uh, these came with them. Check it out. So the semaphore will come on. And this is how they used to like signal to people that they were turning back in the day. Is that not the coolest? Hey? <laughs> it's like, oh, we don't have to put our arm out the window anymore. Yeah. And you don't have to operate a cable. Yeah, but it's kind of neat because he's got it all wired up so he actually has signals so people actually, because nobody's going to look for those anymore. They look for these all the time. Definitely. Yeah, dude. And this is a... Uh, 20... 1641, but the cool oh. thing about it is that's the engine out of my first car. Oh my God, really? Yeah. This thing is just way, way, we way too clean. Boxes. Hey, I know they're just so clean, right? <laughs> Jeremy, uh, I said, what's this thing here? Is this your infrared heater? He goes, no, it's for the stereo. It's for Blinky likes to make it look cool and stuff. <laughs> and if you, if you, if if his van was here, I'd show it to you. But I mean, he's got so much cool stuff in his van. No kidding. Cause you know, when this thing fraps, it really sounds like he's getting on it. I'm telling you. We will stinger. And you got the, uh, Oxygen sensor, yeah, yeah, well blah, 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 blah. To be able to fine tune it. Oh, I like the stainless too. Is that stainless? Yep. Nice. I think you got same kind of uh... So, there's no keys for this thing, so we can all steal it. No, it's RF <laughs> RFID or something like that. Techie man over here Here's has the key. Uh, the key for it. Oh my goodness. So all you have to have that in your pocket. Yep. And be within 12 feet, I think. A new place, a new home for a while. Let me feel alive. Nothing to. Uh, so a little dude there is uh, really enjoying this big green grass. Go, buddy, go! Okay, well, maybe he's tired. But um, Jeremy and Aaron are taking off to go see the trues tonight in downtown Sask Saskatoon. So uh, we had kind of a quick little visit. I'm sure glad that I actually had the opportunity to come in and see his bug because I've been watching him build it. He bought it in 1996. Or was it 1993? So figure it out, 20 something years. So it's amazing and I hope you guys really enjoyed it. But we're gonna get back on the road here. An actual AC greasy taste t-shirt. Nice. Thanks, Jeremy. It would have been uh, nice to spend more time. They did offer me the night in the driveway because you know they got electrical cords and everything, but uh, I wanna be in Regina and give myself some time down there in the morning, so. 
we're gonna start driving south and look for a place to camp.